you've seen the process that it took to make this primitive adobe kiln. Adobe is essentially mud brick, and mud brick has really been used for thousands of years by many parts of the world, many different cultures, and it's very basic. It's creating mud and building with it. Now, in the beginning of the process, in the very start of the video, I was just using original mud. As the process went on, I decided to add a little bit of sand. Um, others that I know that have made the adobe kilns or things out of adobe sometimes choose to put grass or straw or other items that would be a binding agent. Um, I went ahead and incorporated some rocks in mine. Most of the soil that we were using had a lot of rocks anyway. Um, it did not benefit my hands making it, but hopefully it will make for a stronger structure. Now, as of last night, what you saw prior in the video, we went ahead and fired this up. We wanted to not only see how the draft would pull, which is very important when you're making a kiln, um, but we also wanted to see how well it would, um, it would burn and we wanted to cure it. Um, now, I have seen other videos where people will do a layer and then burn that layer to basically seal it as they go. I chose to basically just build this and then burn it from the inside to seal all the mud. Um, our next step with this is going to be firing some primitive pottery, which I will save for another video, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anybody interested in making uh, primitive pottery, this is definitely a great idea for your kiln. Have a good one.